Have you ever heard of the acronym PWA? Progressive Web Apps is what that acronym stands for. If you haven't, then let me tell you, PWAs are the modern style of developing web applications. Now, a website has to have a few standard features in order to be classified as a PWA. One of these features are push notifications. Push notifications are short messages that pop up on the user's mobile or desktop, nudging them to take some sort of action. Your customers are busy individuals who likely forget about the great offers that you might have announced a few days ago via email or about the cart they have abandoned after adding a ton of items. I'm guilty of this on Amazon. Now, if you want them to stay updated with the latest offers that you're offering or remind them of impending items in their cart, notification messages can be a perfect way to communicate. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create and send push notifications literally to your mobile phone or your laptop device. But before we get into today's video, as always, I do want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I have a ton of videos that help improve your developer experience. If that is something that interests you, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you've learned something new today, then be sure to like this video. If you haven't, then leave that complaint on the comment section. Not really. But yeah, please remember to like and subscribe. Now, before we continue, it's important to note that what we are implement is not common to all browsers. Many browsers do not have the functionality to send or push to send or create push notifications or accept push notifications. But what I'm working on, I'm working on a modern day. Uh, it's uh, 2022, the end of 2022. So I'm working with a um, modern or new Firefox version. So let's uh, get started in creating push notifications. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is to create a vanilla uh, JavaScript project. And we can do that with Vite. We can just say um, npm init. Uh, vit at latest, like that. And after that, we're going to create a project name. So we're just going to say push notif notification, like that. And then we're going to select vanilla JavaScript. And then we're done. CD into push notification and then open up your code. Now, after you've opened up your code, go live with Live Server. If you haven't installed Live Server, this is the perfect chance to go to your extensions and install Live Server. And then open up your project. There it is, it's currently blank. But if we go to our code, we can just go to our index.html over here. And what we can do is that we can just simply create a simple button and we're going to name it or we're going to put the text notify me at the very bottom. I mean, inside of that button. And if we go back to our browser, it's still loading. Okay, there's something. And there we go. That's fine. Just give it a little bit of a margin because I'm, I'm a stickler. All right. And now it's nice and visible that you can see it. Now let's go to our JavaScript now. Um, we can go over here to our main, still fine. Or we can just create our own file. We can just call it app.js. Yeah, let's just create our own file. App.js like that. All right, that will suffice. And over here, we're going to reference our button using query selectors like that. And then after that, we're going to create a button and on click event. We're just going to say button dot add listener. I'm going to add an event listener. We're going to listening to a click event. All right. And then in here, we're actually going to request. So before you actually use push notifications, you have to actually request for permission in order to use those push notifications. You can't just use them around. You have to ask for permission from the browser uh, in order to use those push notifications. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. So what do we want to happen? Actually, let me try to explain. So what we want to happen, actually, let me try to explain is that every time we click here, notify, then we're going to have our push notification on the corner of our screen. So yeah, let's go back to our JavaScript and ask for permission. So we're just going to say notification dot request for permission. 
like that. This is a promise, so we're going to just say then, and it's going to give us the result of that permission. And we're going to use that result. And we're going to say if the permission is granted, then what we want you to do is we want to actually create a notification that will be sent after this. So we're going to create a notification over here. We're going to call that notification notify. All right. Notification. So notification accepts, first of all, a title. So we're going to call this one first notification. Okay, there are many configurations that are associated with our notifications, and we can just like uh, go control uh, space to look at them. You have actions, body, uh, data that it can be stored inside of the notifications. You have an icon that can be associated with that notifications. So in this tutorial, we're only going to be concerned about the body of the notification, and we're also going to be concerned about the maybe the icon as well. We can just like put an icon up there. So I'm just going to start off with body, and then I'm going to say hello notification that is the body of our notification and we're going to give it an icon as well and in order to give it an icon I am actually going to take an existing image and I'm going to put it in this directory so there's our image um, and then we're just gonna reference that image coding.png like that there's our notification so we're going to wait and if the permission is actually not granted what we need to do is maybe say put an alert statement if our permission is not granted okay now we can just say console.log and we can just say permission denied yeah that's that's cool all right so there's our first notification over there so now i think if we refresh the page Oh, because we're using v2 we don't actually need to we can just click over here oh don't forget one important thing that you need to do is to link this app.js file okay so we just say src app.js like that should be good that should be good and now we go back to our browser click notify me and you can see that it is requesting permission to send a notification so we're going to allow and then if we press notify me there's our notification and you can see the title the body and you can see the icon as well demonstrated in that um, thing that you see over there all right so but the only problematic thing about that this is that each time I press, there's going to be a couple of notifications stacked up against each other. So in order to solve this problem, you have to go back to your code and then just um, just give me a minute. Go to app.js and then you just need to use tag over here and just maybe say hello. So every time this notification is sent, it's not going to repeat itself. So you can see I can press as many times as I want and I still have the same notification over there. Okay, so that is um, how, that's how you uh, create uh, push notifications using JavaScript. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you have subscribed. If this was an interesting video to you, uh, be sure that you've liked this video, liked and subscribe and leave your comments in the comment section. Once again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time on Coding 101.